you've been begging for it and your prayers have now been answered. Here's the ultimate party guide for Carnival in Rio de Janeiro and everything you need to know to be ready for the upcoming Carnival. Just sit back and enjoy the madness. To tell you the truth, making this video has been hard. Weeks of non-stop party combined with intense work and poor eating habits. It has its price for your health. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Carnival is finally over. It's been a tough ride, I promise you that. I can tell you how happy I am to finally be able to wash this pain off my face. Is Carnival really that rough or is it just that the gringo is getting too old to party? Freedom! Well, I leave that decision to you. Let's get this Rio Carnival started. <laughs> Yep, this is how it looked. Carnival in Rio 2023. The street parties can be summed up with a few words. Huge crowds, very little clothes and a lot of alcohol. And there's something you need to know. A lot of the best parties happen as early as two weeks before the official start date. In other words, you need to come here way before you planned not to miss some of the craziest blocos. I actually made a whole guide about this, so watch that video too. Okay, so perhaps a short update is in order. You know, about that incident? Okay, three things before we continue. First and second, I'm okay and thank you so much. For you who don't know, I was drugged and robbed of all my stuff a while back and with the help of all you amazing guys I'm now finally back on my feet and the channel is up and running. Thank you. Thirdly, after getting pretty much all my accounts hijacked by these criminals, online security has become my top priority. That's why I'm proud to present today's sponsor, NordVPN. In fact, traveling without proper VPN protection is pure insanity. Not only does the VPN stop anyone from spying on your data or activities, it also disguises your identity and keeps you safe when you're using public Wi-Fi, such as in your hotel. NordVPN's built-in threat protection also blocks ads and trackers and scans downloads for all sorts of malware, and warns you if your credentials appear on dodgy websites. Better yet, with my exclusive NordVPN deal, you get one month extra when buying a two-year plan, as well as a 30-day money-back guarantee. Just go to nordvpn.com slash swedishgringo to get your time-limited offer. And don't get me started on the money you're saving when booking flight tickets without those geo restrictions. I've personally saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars putting that VPN on as well as enjoying your streaming services with access to all regionally locked content. Give it a try, will you? You change your mind within 30 days, you get the money back. But you better hurry up, this is a time-limited offer. Now let's start the real carnival. So, I've said this before, at a first glance it might not even look like carnival has begun. Things look kind of normal, until they don't. <laughs> To fully appreciate Rio Carnival, you have to put some work in and find the parties yourself. Beach is always a good place to start the hunt. Por que vocês gostam do Carnaval do Rio? Carnaval do Rio é sem comparação, né? As pessoas aqui têm uma vibe incrível, é super legal. Em geral, qual coisa você gosta como Carnaval? Gente, folia. Show, excursão, alegria, festa. E olha que eu nem bebo, hein? Você não bebe? Não bebo. Você podia curtir a carnaval sem beber? Nossa, olha que eu tô indo. Tem outra festa já à noite. E durante o carnaval, os blocos especialmente, muitas pessoas é, estão beijando. Ela pega todos. Mentira. Ela, ela faz a rapa. Mentira. E você não? Eu não, eu já sou a santa. Você sabe, né? Quem, quem tá mentindo? Oh, quem tá mentindo? We'll get back to that subject later on. 
Kissing or not, Rio Carnival is all about having fun and meeting new people. And finding friends during Carnival is not hard. <laughs> beach ball. It's just another day at the beach here in Rio de Janeiro. Basically, everyone is planning how to make the best of their day. Just strike up a conversation and see where Carnival takes you. First step to guarantee a successful party. Get a costume on. Some kind of face paint or glitter is mandatory. It's the famous gringo glasses. Looking good, bro. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> That's a good look. All right, I think we're ready for this. Once again, carnival is meant to be enjoyed with friends. Group up with some random people on the street and you're all set. First big party, the parade in Santa Teresa. O que vocês gostam do carnaval? Alcohol, festa, beijo na boca. And how does the kissing happen? You point at someone you like, and if interests are mutual, the crowd will help. Or you can just enjoy the music and join the crazy parade passing through the streets. Don't forget water. Things get hot and sweaty. By now, you will probably have lost half of your friends in the chaos, so make sure you've agreed on a place to meet up later. Just focus on the moment. Qual é a coisa melhor durante o carnaval? Música brincadeira, Beija, beija a boca também. Por que você gosta do carnaval? Ah, porque o pessoal é animado, tranquilo, irmão. Mas não, não é muito tranquilo aqui? É muito tranquilo, porque é de calor só, né? And don't worry, there's always police around to help. Por que você gosta do carnaval? É o melhor que tem. É a melhor vida do ano. Melhor que Natal? Melhor que Natal, melhor que Ano Novo. Não tem coisa melhor. E o melhor que tem é do Rio. Vem pro Rio de Janeiro. Vem ser feliz. The Bloco in Santa Teresa is not just one of the first official parties, it's also a perfect introduction to carnival. People are wild, music is good and the party is considered one of the safest. And many more street parties will follow. And never underestimate the power of a good pre-party. Why renting an apartment is best. I'm a also, most of the fun actually happens during the day, so make sure you leave that pre-party in good time to get out on the streets. No rest for the weekend during Carnival. It is Saturday and we heard a party just came to Copacabana. Look at these guys! Are you ready, Emil? Are you ready? According to our sources, the street party is hiding up at hostel number 5 or 6. That means up by Copacabana Fort. Generally speaking, if a party happens in Copa, get there. Let's go! Amigo de gringo! And today is not just any normal day. Because it is also Emil's birthday today! Yes, it is. I was waiting so long to celebrate my birthday at the carnival in Rio de Janeiro. This is his birthday present. <laughs> it cost me two dollars. <laughs> Advice, just walk where people are going. Hey. 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 Incredible, like we came to Rio just because of this guy. Like we saw his YouTube videos and now we're here, it's incredible. <laughs> and how do you feel about it coming here? It's amazing, it's amazing. You gotta go to Rio. Watch his channel and go to Rio. If you miss that first chance to party in Copa, you're likely to get more. Several carnival parades start or end here. Just check the party schedule. Music during carnival, it differs. Sometimes there's artists playing, sometimes musicians are mixed into the crowds, and sometimes people are just generally screaming. Just go with whatever is offered. Whether you like it or not, you will know a few of the songs before Carnival is over. 
Other videos cover this in detail, but it deserves to be repeated. Bring only what you absolutely need to the streets. Carnival is Christmas time for pickpockets. Make sure to have friends at your side paying attention. It's a good vibe, it's a good vibe. Yes, it is a good vibe. The early Copa party was one of my favorites. But we quit while on top in favor for the next party. Not surprisingly, Ipanema gets its fair share of street parties too. Which one is best then? That is just not possible to answer. You will have to visit them both. There are also options for you who want a more controlled, family-friendly party. One of the most popular happens out on Praia Vermelha, just under the Sugarloaf Mountain. Apart from going all in with live music, this party is also considered one of the safest. Okay, safe is nice, but which one is the biggest? <laughs> this one is big. Okay, my good friends, if you thought you've seen Carnival, you ain't seen Carnival yet. There's some debate if it's biggest or not, but the huge Poitola parade simply cannot be missed. It starts in Centro, but many choose to join up once it reaches Flamengo Beach. And by then it looks a little like this. No, you will not have a cell phone signal in this crowd. Make sure you've saved up some energy, because this one goes on all day. What do you think, Emil? What do you think of this whole thing? The atmosphere, everybody's in a good mood. And it just started. <laughs> the incredible energy from this crowd is unbelievable. It's like being part of a huge riot, but of love. So, how do you actually find all these parties? Very simple. Just follow this Insta account. They will post all the schedules. And for God's sake, have a proper lunch or breakfast before joining and bring plenty of water. You will be walking or dancing constantly, from Flamengo to Botafogo, eventually ending up in Copacabana. Don't miss the full video from this parade. Now, let's have a little look at what happens during Rio Carnival after dusk. It's always a good idea checking out the vibe in Copa before moving on. There's often some kind of street party going on here throughout the carnival week. Just keep expectations in check. These are often more for families. And if that first one doesn't suit you, there's bound to be another gathering nearby. Another party in Copacabana, Lemon Star. This one had a little more youthful spirit. Over and over during Carnival, you will have no idea what the party is actually celebrating and who's in charge. It doesn't matter, just go with the flow. For the real Carnival night action, there's one place that never disappoints, Lapa. But I need to put in a stern warning. Lapa is where myself and countless gringos were drugged and robbed the last couple of months. Never ever go here alone or get too drunk. Why is Carnival best in Rio? You need 
to be aware of druggings in Lapa. Don't walk around with your drink exposed. A lot of dildo. But as long as you stick to your friends and you watch over each other, Lapa will show you an awesome time. The party here gets wild and at times downright savage. Yeah, people dance like this. Carnival in Lapa also often offers live concerts with famous artists, with some crazy characters around. But keep an eye on your drink and go home immediately if you start feeling weird. And now, by public request, say carnival and gringos will instantly think of this, the big parade and show at the Samba Row. And we're here to see if it's really such a big thing as everyone says. These guys, they're pretty, they're pretty eager to get in there, yes. I've previously been skeptical to this event as I've thought carnival should be celebrated on the streets. It is time to see how wrong I've been. And geez, is this a big show or what? The capacity of this place is 90,000 people and it's pretty much sold out. A ticket for this event usually costs from a hundred dollars and up. And this is what you get. This is not just a show but also a competition where the local Samba schools are fighting for the title as carnival champions. It's a really big thing for the proud locals here. While the competition part of the parade might be lost on gringos who often don't really understand what's happening. And get ready for some waiting time between the performances. Also, if lightly dressed girls are what you came for, it will be less of that than you thought. In the end, it's a matter of taste how much you'll enjoy this colorful spectacle. Just know that it's possible to mingle with the performers outside the arena without paying a dime. The hero of the carnival! Yeah! <laughs> so, what happens at the beach during carnival? It's about time we have a little look. After all, I never miss an excuse to improve the tan. Copacabana or Ipanema? Carnival time, I do prefer Ipanema. So, one thing you will soon realize, carnival gets kind of hectic with all the things happening all the time. And one thing you get way too little of during these days is actually going to the beach. So, how does it feel, Emil, back at Ipanema Beach? Yeah, right, feels amazing. I prefer Ipanema. I like it more than Copa. And especially these days, Copacabana was way too crowded. Oh. Fact is, Carnival doesn't really show at the beach. It looks pretty much as usual, just a few more people. It is hot as usual. Old paint in my face, yes. I told you, you don't get much time to rest and recover these days. Unless you choose to actually skip a party day. Alright, we've been here 10 minutes. It is Caipirinha time. <laughs> Let's get this fifth day of carnival started. <laughs> you thought I'd go a whole day without caipirinha. Why do you like Brazil? First of all, because of the vibe here. It's crazy how people just are so happy here, like how welcoming people are. I already imagined that they will be open, but I feel like everyone is just so sweet. Invites you to all different kinds of stuff, to parties. <laughs> Welcome to Brazil. Hey guys! Who are you? We are from Germany. Germany. What are you doing here? Carnival. Were you inspired to come here? Yes. <laughs> Typically Germans never stop talking. And I can't stand babbling here all day. I actually have things to do. Or rather, four things to do. Back at the bachelor pad in Leme, tension is rising. I've promised to deliver world-class caipirinhas. Judging from all the caipirinhas I've had myself, this actually puts a lot of pressure on me. I'm a little bit nervous. We're gonna have to try this mixture of these two girls. The judges. 
<laughs> that says bad girl. That is not an easy judge to have. Nailed it. Let's see. But I'm gonna see, amigo. Saúde. Saúde. Tipo fraco, no? Nossa. Quantos estrelas? My first. My primeira caipirinha. First Swedish caipirinha. Okay. I'll go with four stars. And just like that, we're back here again. Emil, where are we going? It's a block on Lapa, right? Otro block on Lapa. The green doesn't know where we're going. Yeah. Vamos a discutir a Lapa. Whoa. Otra vez. Siempre Lapa. This is a bad girl, Emil. I'm, I'm the baddest girl in Rio. Woo. They are not anymore. I am. They thought they are the baddest girl. So, Suma means I'm a bad girl. That's a bad girl. The girls from Sao Paulo thought there are bad girls, but now I am the bad girl. Oh, I can promise you he is a bad girl. <laughs> so is Lapa safe during the day then? Well, it's safer, but it's definitely not Ipanema. We're now having a little dance lesson for Gringo. Multiple. Well, you mean yes, 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 yes. better than them? Did, it, did my dance look better than them? Yep. I am Maybe not even gonna answer. answer that. That. Our sources told us this was gonna be a great party, but so far the energy is not quite there. It seems people are still waiting. It's not often I'm here during the day. You're usually Lapa during night time. So far, not a lot of music and dance, so we're taking matters into our own hands. Porque vocês gostam no carnaval? Tem muita festa e alegria, porra. Porque você gosta do carnaval? Porque é muito feliz. Muito feliz. Yeah, sure, people seem to be in a decent mood, but something is definitely different and a little odd about this place. I mean, the other parties in Centro have been fun and wild with a totally different energy. Just look at all these people dancing, drinking and having fun while the people in Lapa mostly seem to be standing around and smoking. Ah, now I get the name of this event, obviously a drug reference. So we basically ended up in a pro-marijuana demonstration. So what have we learned from this? Get proper party info before. These three Instagram accounts will have you covered. Carnival in Lapa simply is best during nighttime, when music is pounding and the streets are overflowing with people. That's why it hurts not being able to wholeheartedly recommend Lapa at the moment. The area is struck by an ongoing drugging epidemic and you are coming here at your own risk. On the other hand, the risk is even greater, you'll have a totally awesome time. Alright then, which was the funniest daytime party? Copacabana, normal day. This is how it looks every day in Copacabana. Hi! Well, maybe a huge party is about to happen at the beach of Copacabana. Well, you remember that huge parade from before, right? Boy Tolo. You remember I said it ends up in Copacabana? Well, my friends, that is where you'll have perhaps the best time during the whole carnival. I mean, just look at this crazy amount of loony people just getting ready to let it all loose. And then the army starts moving, taking over Copacabana Beach. It's like being on a Halloween party during broad daylight, where everyone has been sipping happy juice and celebrates life. Just look at it, 
A guy wearing my glasses is here. Chun Li from Street Fighter is here. Girls on crazy tall stilts dancing. Some crazy dude with a cape and mushroom hat is playing trumpet. Well, what more can you expect from a party? All people chanting songs you don't understand a word of, but still try to sing along to. That is Carnival. Just get right into that carnival parade and fun things will start happening. Well, that was fun for me at least. So, the only problem with the streets filled with people and music and happiness, it's so hard to get a proper caipirinha. We had to leave the actual party to get an ice cold. What's up, guys? What's going on? He's the reason. He's the reason we're here. Can you see what you've been enjoying most so far without scaring off uh, your fans? Yeah. <laughs> Just forgot. Gotta, gotta pull this. <laughs> I think she knows me. I'm not sure. I do know you. I watched your videos. Thank you so much. Which video in particular did you watch? That one not to get robbed. Yeah, I watched that one when you got beat up. <laughs> Well, it seems I have a talent for getting robbed. É muito divertido e tem várias músicas assim muito legais. E aqui no Rio é maravilhoso, é muita gente simpática. Tem uma boa energia também. Ok, putaria. Do you like putaria? Do you like? Swedish Gringo. We've been binge watching Swedish Gringo all the way leading up to Carnival. If you're coming to Brazil, subscribe right now. Wow. I'm so happy to meet him. I don't really have much more to add. I'm just gonna let you sit there and feel why you need to come and experience a carnival in Rio de Janeiro. And make tons of friends along the way. And perhaps a hangover. I'm sure you will love Carnival, and you will love when it's over, or you didn't do it right. <laughs> Rita! Carnival 2023 is officially over, and I'm already looking forward to 2024. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next year. Yes, now is a good time to mark some dates in that calendar. If you want a decent place to stay, you better book long ahead. Yeah, I did a video about planning carnival too. Coming up, the full uncensored story of what really happened to me that evening in Rio, when I got drugged, brought home and robbed of everything. I can tell you this much, it wasn't the best birthday I've had. If you liked what you saw, please support the channel. Thanks for watching and be safe.